Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you guys everything I got from Ulta. Um, I did get quite a bit. Um, this is what I got whenever they were having their 20% off. So I guess we'll just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I got I was really really excited about and these are the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Highlights. This is in the shade Snowflake. And I would swatch it for you guys, but they're very, very messy. I was trying to take out the little plastic part in it this morning when I opened it, and it took me, I'm not kidding, like 10 years to get that open. <laughs> then when I got it open, it was a little messy, so I feel like this is when you have to be very careful and not, you know, move it the wrong way and it explode everywhere, so. But it is very pretty. It's what I have, um, it's what I have in my inner corners. So it's very, very pretty. I feel like, and I also have it on my cheeks, but I do really like it. Next thing I got is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Promade. Um, I got the shade Taupe, and normally I get a lot darker, like chocolate or dark brown. The lighter I go with my hair, I just feel like it, it looks very, very harsh when I wear the chocolate one, so I decided to go a little bit lighter, and I feel like it does look a lot better. So, and Anastasia has really good brow products, so. I also got the Becca First Light Primer, and I have been obsessed with this. Like, I put this every day under my foundation, and I feel like it really helps give me a glow. So, and I didn't think I was going to like this very much. I don't know why, but I really, really love this, and I'm glad I picked it up. I needed a foundation for when I'm self-tan, and I really like the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. So I got this in the shade medium because I feel like when I'm self tan this matches me perfectly. And I really like this foundation. It's really hydrating and it's very glowy. And I feel like it's pretty full coverage too because I really like full coverage foundations and this one's pretty full coverage. This, I am so excited I finally got it. I've wanted it for months and I just, I don't know why I never got it, but this is the NARS audacious lipstick in the shade Anna and it's just the prettiest shade it's just very like mauve -y. oh my gosh I love it I haven't used it yet but that color is just so pretty I've been trying to get more into lipsticks other than liquid lips just because my lips have been so dry no matter what I do sometimes that I just feel like when I try to do a liquid lip my lips it just doesn't look very good so I've been wanting to try these for a while this is the Becca ultimate lipstick in the shade truffle and I really like the packaging it's really pretty I also got this and it's the soap and glory sexy mother puck and I think this was on sale I want to say but it's in the shade naked talent and I actually put this on my lips right now. I feel like it's just a little bit darker than what my natural lip color is. But I think it's really pretty and I feel like the formula is really good. It feels really moisturizing. So this I've actually been obsessed with. And this is the Sun Bum um, sunscreen lip balm. My lips are always really, really dry. And I feel like every chapstick I've tried, it doesn't really make a difference. But this one, I... I normally put it on at night and then in the morning I wake up and my lips are so soft and then lately if I do decide to wear a liquid lip I just put this underneath it so that way it just doesn't look as dry and it just feels so much more comfortable throughout the day. So I love this and also I got it in coconut and it smells so good. It smells just like the beach. <laughs> so I also stocked up on Fix Plus. <laughs> um, this is, I think this is the coconut one but I got another one of these and one in the lavender because I am so obsessed with MAC Fix Plus. What I do is I just, before I put on foundation, primer, anything, I just spray my face with Fix Plus and I feel like it just makes me feel really refreshed and just ready for foundation. So I love this so much. I feel like I haven't even had it long and I've already used quite a bit because I just, I'm obsessed with it and it smells so good. Like this smells like the beach too. Also finally picked up the Riviera palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. The colors in here are so pretty and they're not colors that I would normally just go for on a daily basis, but I just love the formula of Anastasia's shadows and 
I think I have almost every palette she's ever made just because I love the formula so much. But it is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I do like this palette, but I did notice with the shimmer shades, when I would kind of blend, it, they would kind of disappear, which made me kind of sad. So I think you kind of have to build them up as you go, and then they'll stay really pigmented. But I do really like this palette, and I love the splash of color, especially for spring. My hair has been really dry, especially lately. I've been trying to go a little more blonde. I'm hoping to be fully blonde soon. I say soon, but it's probably going to take me a while. But getting there, I need to try to keep my hair as healthy as possible. So I've been looking for some new masks to try. And after I tried that Sunbum um, chapstick, and it was amazing, I saw that they had a hair mask. And so I decided to pick it up. And this is the Sunbum conditioning mask. And it has a lot of good stuff in it. And it smells just like the beach, just like all their other stuff. And I haven't got to try this yet, but I am really excited to use it because I feel like all their products are super, super moisturizing and those are products that I want in my life. <laughs> I also ran out of my exfoliant to use before I self-tan, so I picked up this Soap & Glory Buff & Ready Coconut Body Scrub. And I love Soap & Glory stuff, I feel like all their stuff smells so good. That one smells like coconuts. It smells really good and I feel like all their stuff is really really good. I also got this Teamy Detox Mask um, and I love this stuff. I At first I was a little bit worried to try it because it said something. Oh it says warning the safety of this product has not been determined which kind of concerned me a little bit. Um, <laughs> But I've seen a lot of people use this, so I decided to just try it one night. And I do really like it. I feel like I was kind of expecting it to dry my skin out, but it actually made my skin feel a lot more hydrated and it made it brighter. So I've been using this. I have tried to use it like once a week or so, and I feel like I really have noticed a difference in my skin, so... Like this. Okay, so this is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate Glow Moisturizer. So I got a sample of this a while back and I loved it. So when the 20% off sale came, I was like, oh, this is a good time to get it because I really wanted it, but it is $65. I really love this one. For one, the smell, it smells really good. I can't explain really what it smells like, but it smells really good and I feel like it really does help my skin get a glow and it just feels super super hydrated. This was kind of a random purchase. I just saw this and it's the Bright Salt Spray and this is a volumizing finishing spray for blonde hair. And Bright, I never hear people talk about them very much but I did get a shampoo by them and it's a blonde shampoo and when I use it my hair turns so bright blonde and sometimes if I leave it on for a little bit too long it'll even turn purple like it's really really good and their products are not that expensive at all like I, I don't remember how much this was but I know it wasn't bad at all I haven't got to try it yet but I'm really excited to try it it smells kind of like candy but yeah I'm excited to try this because their line from what I've tried is really really good last thing I got I should have gotten a long time ago I've had my aesthetics license for I think five years now and I've never owned a wax kit before <laughs> so I saw that Ulta started carrying this wax kit and so during the sale I was like oh that's a really good deal actually so I picked it up and so now I finally have a wax kit and of course I still haven't used it but it's nice to finally have one after such a long time of saying I was going to get one and that is everything I got from Ulta thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video bye